Let's talk about this Jets win with our NHL analyst, Marty Biron. So it's back-to-back -back wins, Marty, for the Jets, but the team scoring yep. slump continues. Uh, they've now scored two goals or less in 10 of their last 11 games. Put it in perspective, they're tied with the Chicago Blackhawks for the fewest goals scored <laughs> in the past month. That's really yep. something. A Blackhawks team without Connor Bedard. Watching this team, Marty, why do you think scoring's dried up for the Jets? Well, I think what they're doing is stand on the perimeter too much. You look at the game against the San Jose Sharks. First of all, in the first four minutes, they didn't shoot anything on net. Zero shots on goal. And then the next five or six minutes, it's all from the perimeter. It's the defense. It's from the blue line. You can't play a game that way. It makes it too easy, number one, on the other team's goaltender to get their confidence. Say, hey, this is going to be a good game. I'm feeling good about myself. But you got to get traffic. You got to get second opportunities. And it wasn't until Morgan Barron went to the front of the net and got hit with a puck. That was actually the only goal of the game that the Jets then got going a little bit, but it was too late. Kakinen was playing well, and you still got too much on the perimeter. You look at the shot attempts in the game. Logan Stanley had 12 shot attempts. Four of the top nine players in the Jets in shot attempts are defensemen. That's mm. way too much from the blue line, too much on the perimeter. You got Ehlers with three shot attempts. You got Perfetti with one shot attempt. Like, if you have a defenseman with 12, you should be getting forwards with six, seven, eight, nine. Your top six should be getting there. And I think it's on the perimeter. And the power plays one for 33 in the last 11 games. And it's the same story there. Perimeter, nothing from the middle, nothing dangerous, no rebounds. So that's why the offense has dried up right now. So, you know, we know that Kevin Cheveldayoff's already added. Sean Monaghan, uh, center, you know, he, he's contributed offensively yep. for Montreal throughout the season. Just got to Winnipeg, so it's tough to judge how he'll fit in there just yet, Marty. But would you like to see Chevy add another forward to provide more offense to this team? Well, up until a couple of weeks ago, I would have said, no, I think they're fine. Make one addition and that's good. But now with the way that they played the last 11 games, I'm saying, okay, maybe you add another piece. Now, I don't think that you should go out there and get the top of the trade bait list. But I look at a player like Vladimir Tarasenko and I'm thinking, okay, that would be a perfect fit for me. Number one, Tarasenko has got 14 goals this year in Ottawa. He got two power play goals, right? But he could play on the power play more. He's not on the top unit in Ottawa. And 14, go 14 goals would be fourth on the Winnipeg Jets right now. So I think he could add that offense to the top six. And then you can move things around. Maybe, maybe you play uh, Tarasenko with Monaghan and Perfetti. And then that moves Velarde with Nemesnikov and Ayafalo. And you keep, obviously, the Lowry line together. But then you can interchange pieces in the way that you want your top six to be. Right now, you have your top six. It's locked in. I think everybody's a little bit too comfortable that way. So bring in a guy like Tarasenko. You don't have to spend too much on him. And he'd fit right in and be able to move some pieces and give you that added depth and maybe the help on the power play that you need as well. So, yeah, two weeks ago, I would have said, no, they're done. I made him one piece, and that's it. They did get Monaghan. But now I feel... You probably have to add another forward to help. Well, you mentioned the trade bait list. Uh, the latest edition came out on Wednesday. And later in the show, we're going to talk to Marty about some of the names on that list. That's later on SportsCenter.